I remember the first time I had it, I was at Flora and Najib. I kept saying it weird. Najib has been like this, like, knowledge crutch to me for like, since I started doing cheese. And I was like, hypothesis? And he goes, if what? And I go, yeah. <laughs> He's like, you wanna try some? And I'm like, yeah, and I cried a little bit. Because uh, I do that. My name is Josh Franklin. Uh, my name is Najib Shuaf, um, and a cheesemonger is really someone who helps you pick out cheese. A cheesemonger is anybody who takes care of cheese, sells cheese. So what is a cheesemonger? A cheesemonger is a person who sells cheese. Knows cheese, likes to eat cheese, uh, thinks about cheese, dreams about cheese. Has cheese tattoos. I mean, that's what a monger is, someone who sells. And when it comes down to it, that's that's all we're here for, mm -hmm. uh, is to take the cheese that is made by producer, ends up on our counter, and match it with the customer who's standing in front of us. Pairing is definitely some of the most fun part of the it, It's It's about understanding the flavor of a cheese, um, and not just flavor, but texture, um, and figuring out how you can almost make it better. Uh, maybe not better, but different and create something new. We always talk about the third flavor when it comes to pairing. Um, so you're taking the, the flavor of cheese, taking the flavor of something else, whether it's a bread, whether it's a jam, whether it's beer, it's wine, it's liquor, um, and you're creating a third flavor with those components um, and trying to uh, create something new, discover something new, um, and really just get people excited about what they're tasting. You gotta figure out your customer real fast. You gotta figure out what the fuck they're talking about real fast. And then you gotta be really nice about it. No matter what anybody says, there's like definitely no perfect pairing because everybody's taste buds are different, so you eat what you like. When you're pairing, it's not about just tasting the two things together, it's that something something new is is, is being done. So you'll never have like an like an equal 50-50 pairing. It's never gonna be a thing. Um, and so it's never, I mean, a cheese on its own is never gonna taste the same as a cheese with something else. Because they're not hitting your palate at the same time. Um, flavors are going to contrast. And one's counteracting the other. So you can highlight one flavor by, uh, by adding a, a totally sort of a, an inverse component. Yeah, you're pairing flavors. What's better than that? Nothing. <laughs> There's usually about six months of intense studying just prior to the test taking. But you need to have 10,000 service hours in the industry to even qualify for the exam. Except for the CCP exam, um, 2013. Did I already say what that stands for? Certified Cheese Professional? Certified Cheese Professional. Yeah, so it's just CCP. And, uh, through Whole Foods is how I was able to do that because okay. it's, it's an expensive um, proposition. It's a very hard test. It's 150 questions. It's run by the American Cheese Society. I think that they thought that the term cheesemonger ended up being used really like too loosely. To take the test, we had to study breeds of animals, milk composition, cheese making process, affinage, selling aspects, pairing aspects. So we had to understand the whole spectrum. Uh, because it runs the whole gauntlet, like from the soil to your plate, essentially, to your mouth. Um, and it's the same thing with like the sommelier exam. Um, they just, it just concentrates and, and on those 
questions even harder. Because specialty cheese had grown to, to such a state until you dug into a relationship with a monger behind the counter, you had no way to kind of judge the value of someone's knowledge. So it's, it's like a mix of science, math, um, and just extensive cheese knowledge. Where cheese are from, how they're made, what they're made with, why they're unique. There'll be another level at it. That's just my suspicion. I don't, I don't know that for sure. That they're working on it. Okay. Um, and I think that, I think that is an important thing. There was like a advanced CCP and a master CCP. Um, like it would be so cool to be able to try and study for that as if it were a small egg. That's gonna fill fill a need in this industry. Think of cheese as following along behind wine, and where you see wine grow, cheese is gonna grow. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a qualifying round. There's a taste test. There is. It looks like a big fucking party. And yes, the stories I heard about the early ones were it was just a giant party. It's really a cheese rave. I think the first year the announcer was, the winner was announced at like three in the morning or something <laughs> god awful like that. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's in a warehouse. It's in a big cold warehouse, and Mom Jay is like running around in a cow suit, like yelling moo at you. And, and so the cheese monger is the brainchild of Moskowitz, uh, who owns a. Um, he does really three main things. He um, owns a, a cold storage facility called Larkin. He also has a company called Columbia Cheese, uh, which is an import company. And then the third thing he does is the Cheese Monger Invitational. He did it because he saw that you know we have competitions for, for cheese makers, but there's no one recognizing the person on the counter, the cheese monger. Um, and he wanted to do that because he respected what we did and wanted to sort of share share that with a, with a greater audience. The events change slightly every year, but this last one. Um, start with a uh, knowledge exam, then uh, blind taste, uh, and then uh, aroma identification. Uh, technical challenges like uh, cutting exact weights by eye. You get to pick it up like once to maybe. But who the fuck does that? Like uh, wrapping speed proficiency, um, salesmanship, plating, and uh, food pairing and beverage pairing. I obsessed over it. I was up all night. I was here when we were closed, figuring out shit to do. Najib's was probably even more focused. I mean, he'd gone there and placed every year he went. My first two, I came in second. Oh. Um, <laughs> and I completely bombed the third year. But this year, I won this year. This year you yeah. won the, yeah. the entire thing. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> uh, it, was, it was tight, because we ended up um, having ties for first twice. We came, they came back with more events. Two of us, two of us tied for first that time. Uh, and then they and then they announced the, oh the winner. What was the feeling like when you finally won? Uh, relief. Uh -huh. No, I don't have a favorite part. That's that's all I'm at. at. The end of the day, like I'm selling cheese in wine and beer and making a living, and that's that's what I do for a living. Like my life's not hard. <laughs> uh, so just being able to be a part of that is, is like my favorite part. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's super.